showtime. Azala wants you. All right, so you have to, <laughs> what is this? You have to, there's a total of four torture sessions. You're on the second one right now, but you okay. won't have to do the other two I'll ones and the one more. in between. Because Ocelot's gonna come and give you ketchup, and then you need to lay down, play dead, and when Dark comes close, you need to quickly knock him on his ass. Because if you fuck up knocking him on his ass, he's just gonna leave the room and lock the del uh, door, and you're gonna have to survive two more. There are no continues, my friend. I fought wars in Afghanistan, Mozambique, Eritrea, and Chad. Among the Mujahideen guerrillas, I was known and feared as Shalashaska. I was trained by the mm. Russian group. I am not like one of those KGB slugs. To me, In case you don't know that red box is just your equipment. Sports. You're all <laughs> Don't confuse me with those uniform fools. Well, shall we begin? Okay, here we go. Shall we go again? <laughs> Had enough yet? We're not finished yet. Good. Very good doing it. Fucking bar. <laughs> You're a strong man. Well, that's enough for now, I think. We live in a sad age. Imperialism, totalitarianism, perestroika. 20th century Russia has had its share of problems, but at least they had an ideology. Russia today has nothing. They're struggling between freedom and order, and with that struggle, a new spirit of nationalism is being born. The boss has a close friend high up in the Russian government. He's currently the head of Spetsnaz. He's agreed to purchase this new nuclear weapons system. The Hind was just a down bid. So you're in this for money? I don't need money. I want Russia to be reborn, to lead a brave new world order. What do you want? <laughs> you okay, Snake? Yeah. Nothing new to report. Snake, is there anything I can do? Yeah. My armor. <laughs> Poor Snake. I'll increase the level of <laughs> so you can put people in chokeholds, okay. Nathan. But you can leave out the Benzedrine. That's it says here, go oh, yeah? behind someone and press the s and use the square so button and keep pressing it to snap snake, the neck. The but you have to be behind them and you can't like move and press it. You just gotta press Don't it. Worry. Made the controller rumble. And she first said to put the controller up to my arm. Please talk to me. Say something to take my mind off the pain. What can I say? Anything. I'm not a very good talker. 
Please. Tell me about yourself. Myself? That's a tough one. Any family? <sighs> That's not a happy topic for me. I don't have any family. No. Wait. There was a man who said he was my father. Where is he? Dead. By my own hand. Big Boss. What? Big Boss? I had no idea. There was no way you could. It happened in Zanzibar six years ago. Only Snake and I know the real truth of what happened there. So... Is it true? Was Big Boss really your father? That's what... That's all I know. And you were able to kill him? Knowing that? Yep. How? Who wanted it? Besides... Some people just need killing. That's patricide. Yep. That's the drama the Mantis was talking about. One we share in common. Is that why you left Foxhound? Let's just say that I needed to be alone for a while. Alaska was the perfect place. <sighs> Snake. I didn't have a real family either. Just a I also killed him. <laughs> Much older than me. Where is he? He's dead. I'm sorry. I killed him. <laughs> Snake. Is but he didn't want it. Life? He didn't want it. And Have Snake was like, I killed him. And he's just like, what? <laughs> I am your brother. <laughs> and I'm also dead. The Collins. Is that it? No. There was another. Frank Yeager. What? Big Boss's most trusted lieutenant, and the only member of Foxhound ever to receive the code name Fox. Gray Fox. I learned a lot from him. But didn't you try to kill each other? That's true. We did, in Zanzibar. But it was nothing personal. We were just professionals on opposite sides, that's all. And you still call yourself friends? Hard to believe. War is no reason to end a friendship. That's insane. I first met him on the battlefield. He was being held a prisoner of outer heaven, but he didn't look like a prisoner to me. He was always so cool and precise. I was still green, and he showed me the ropes. You knew him well? No. We never talked about our personal lives. Sort of an unwritten rule. The next time I saw him on the battlefield, we were enemies. We were fighting barehanded in a minefield. I know it sounds strange to most people, but we were just two soldiers doing our jobs. It's like a sport. The men in their games. You're like wild animals. You're right. We are animals. So if you were friends, then how do you explain the ninja's behavior? I don't know. It's your genes. They make you predisposed towards violence. You really like talking about genes, Naomi. Why did you get into genetic research anyway? I never knew who my parents were, or even what they looked like. I guess I got into genetics because I wanted to figure out why I am the way I am. So you studied about DNA? <laughs> yeah. I thought if I studied my genetic structure, I'd find out who I really was. I thought that by analyzing a person's genetic information, I could retrieve the blank spots in that person's memory. Memory is stored in DNA? We're not sure, but we know that a person's genetic fate is determined just by the sequence of the four bases in their DNA. So what about my fate? You know my DNA sequence, don't you? Your fate? I... I'm sorry, I have no idea. Of course not. You're a scientist, not a fortune teller. Do you... do you want something? This way. Watch, watch, watch. This is important. Just turn it off right now to go to the bathroom. So stand by the door. Khan's gonna be here in a second.
There he is. I'm here. Where? It's me, Otacar. Wow, they even captured you. Murray, get me out of here. It, let me go. That hurts. Hurry up. Is that how you ask a guy a favor? Let me go. Jeez, it's like an animal's cage. Oh, what a smell. Because of him. Yeah, it's the Derpa chief. You don't yeah. Know. Yeah. What the fuck? I'll be laying next to him. Those bastards. This lock won't open with the security card. Need a key like the soldiers carry. So what are we doing here then? I, I thought you might be hungry. If you need food, I can bring some more later. Also, I got you this level six card. It'll get you out of that torture room. Here, take this too. What's this? It's a handkerchief. I got it from Sniper Wolf. Why? I don't know why, but she's nice to me. Sounds like Stockholm Syndrome to me. I was taking care of the dogs here. After the terrorists took over, they were planning to shoot all the dogs. But Sniper Wolf stopped them. She even let me feed them when I asked. She likes dogs. She must be a good person. Please don't hurt her. Wake up, you idiot. Too late. She's the one who shot Meryl. Well, that's all I can do. They're planning to launch a nuke. I've got to stop them. Then you have to get past the communications tower. First, you have to get me out of here. Come on, I'm trying my best. That guard's got the key. You'll have to take him out. Give me a break. I'm no soldier. I can't take anybody out. You have to. I'll be killed. Right. You gotta go fast, Nathan. Okay, listen. Lay down on the floor and equip the ketchup and then, like, use it while you're laying down. Quick. In the middle of the room. Yes, and now something use it. Uh, uh, it says press X, but that's not in this case because that's this is the this is different. So try just lay down and let's just lay Nathan lay down. Quick, press circle, press square. Okay, don't have the thing open. Press square or circle while you're laying down. Just lay there. Don't move. Okay. The guard panics. Because he sees you like you're dead, okay? And then when he comes in, don't get up, don't get up. When he gets close to you and is about to reach for you, stand up and throw him or get him in a chokehold. Real fast. When he, when he reaches for you. Quick! Quick! He didn't even reach for me. Try to knock him out. Try to knock him out. Hey, go, 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 go! Get your stop! Get your stop! Get your stop! Go! <laughs> You got the. You gave you the card. Equip it. And it's, and back. it's back. Ready? Three, two, one. He's back. Uh oh. Holy fuck! Check your inventory. Okay, so see, there's something there called Timer B. There's a time bomb, okay? Highlight the bomb here and press the A button to toss it. It will explode, explode shortly. So throw it out of your inventory. Defeat what it says. Press circle while the menu's open to throw. Okay, now get away. Okay, good. There, you're safe. That was not necessary. <laughs> no, not at all. So how do I get past this guy? This fucking camera? Um. I just slipped past them, but I don't know how you'll do that. Maybe if I crouch.
Because it's not really facing you now. Okay, that's okay. <laughs> Can I go scavenge a bit? Because it says there's stuff around here. Oh. Uh oh. Okay, I'm good. I'll scavenge a bit around here. This says there's goodies here. Like a ration? Uh, yes. And then by goodies, I mean ammo and grenades and food. So if you're already good on food, and if you're already good on ammo and grenades, then you don't need these. This is where we were at the beginning of the game. I think. There's just cameras there now. Okay. Go to the elevator. And, uh, take it to... B2. Go to the armory again, basically. Anything over here? No. Don't you, for fuck's sake. Alright. You don't need to go there, for Christ's sakes. I was gonna say, if you start climbing up that vent, I'm gonna be so triggered. Like, I suck and take the elevator, go to B2, please. Okay, so, since you don't have the level 6 security card, uh, that you got from Otacon, you can get into the level 6 room down in the armory south corridor. The, like, room you had to blow open the C4 to go to, so you just have to head all the way down. And then it's right in the all middle. Right. Uh oh. Get. This one? No, the, there's a door right below you. Look, the red, the tiny red line, the door. Look how you just lean up the wall so many times. Oh, this is where I was. This is where I killed the guy. <laughs> okay, let's see. This is here. Uh, let's see. What's going on in here? Oh, there it is. Jeez, there's so many. I don't know, I don't think you need anything here. I think. I'm reading what the map says, and maybe it's just a Twin Snakes thing, but I don't think you need to go in there. You have to go take the elevator to floor one, and then retrace your place through the canyon, where you fought the tank. I do all the way over there? Yes. I wasn't looking. <laughs> Nothing. What did you do? Nothing. You fell through the fucking hole. No, I yes, you did. No, yes, you did. No. Nope. Yes. You either fucking you either hit that or tripped a bomb, one or the other, and I'm pretty sure you fucking fell through the hole. Come on, Adam. Look at me. Would that be something I'd do? Yes. How could you? Can you say that?
basically, yeah, I need to go all the way to where, uh, you remember, not there, that's not the canyon. Not there. I said, look, right, the big door there with the lasers, that's the canyon, I said, where you fought the tank. Hopefully, uh -oh. hopefully the lasers aren't there anymore, but you have to head all the way back to the sniper hole. There's no lasers, you're good. God damn it, Nathan. You what? keep holding L2 and switching to it, yet I'm telling you, you can just lightly tap it and you'll unequip it. Ah. You always just take the time to go through the menu, like, you can just lightly tap L2 and it'll unequip. Oh, fuck. I forgot. No, my fucking god. <laughs> I, thought I, I thought I picked these up already. What? Oh, oh. <laughs> Nathan, don't die here. Use the mine detector. Or that too, like, I mean, that's fine, but I mean, just so you can see how much are around. Holy shit, that's a lot more than before. Yeah. <laughs> I love all I ever use. Oh, fuck. <laughs> well, like, I thought I cleared these out already. What's going on? <laughs> You don't need to pick them all up, I mean... God knows how much claymores you have right now. What is that? That looks like a camera or searchlight. Those are- those are cameras, yeah, gun turns, there's four. And a lot more claymores Jeez. from what it looks like. Can you please take a ration? <laughs> I don't want to see you die from, like, getting shot once. Is he can't pick up any more. How much claymores do you have? Fourteen. Oh, Jesus. Okay, you just have to get to the other uh, side. Uh, Alright. Where does that go? 